My first lover was a Puerto Rican hooker. <laughs> I was a sailor, I didn't know any better. Do we want a society where men can buy sex? Yes. I've had sex with over 5,300 clients. Like, I know what I'm talking about here. Ontario sex trade workers celebrate a significant and rare legal victory. I don't believe it. As we stated in the press release, uh, we're all deeply troubled by the decision handed down. What we need to do in the legacy of Picton's victims is criminalize the male demand. Once you decriminalize that demand, uh, then it validates the need to produce a supply. We didn't come here today to commercialize prostitution. We've come here to open up really rudimentary safety measures. I just know that I went from being terrified to within minutes going, this is so right. We have a model where sex workers have a lot of options. They can work for themselves, they can work in managed brothels. What sort of age group, darling, are you looking for? Excellent, wonderful. Are you looking for blonde or brunette? But I mean, I'm well educated, I've got my degrees. I could do lots of other things if I wanted to, but I felt more used and exploited working a minimum wage job where I get 10 minute lunch breaks. You must know that there was 30 years of research, a feministic movement uh, lobbying for criminalizing the, the buying of sexual services. People say that this is nothing we do here. To buy sex is not allowed in this society. We have changed the face of Canada's prostitution laws. Not everybody will benefit from this decision. None of my friends will make it inside. Aboriginal women won't make it inside. It's completely logical. However, logic doesn't usually enter into any debates around prostitution. This is not about personal morality, um, whatever that might be. That this is about power, uh, which is something quite different.